Hello viewers, welcome to yet another project exhibition and this time we shall be looking at door access using ROFID model. On screen are various components that have been connected together. This is the ROFID card reader. The red light indicates that it's properly connected and ready to take an input. The various wires you see on the board are jumper cables used in connecting the various components together. The brilliant blue light that we see before us indicates the system is ready to take an input, that is to say, to read a card. Behind it, you will see a yellow button. This button is created or was created to reset the master card that will I show you soon. And on the breadboard is an IC that is an integrated circuit of type LM324. It's an amplifier. It's actually meant to amplify the signal coming from the Arduino Uno Reftery board. And here is the Arduino Uno board, which basically operates on Atmeg 328P. And behind it is an LCD display used to display the activities that is on in time. Connected to the Arduino is a USB cable to my computer. Alright. On the screen is the workflow of the project that we are going to exhibit. Simple workflow, but not limited to this. We have the retag, then you have the master card, and you have the other cards. Now, the master card is what I call the program card, which you can use basically to add or remove card. Now, I mean card in the sense of an ID card. For example, this is a card. We are, but it's empty, currently blank. Let's say I choose Nigeria wants to employ, and he decides to get in one more person into the company. I choose Nigeria would produce a card for Staff S. Staff S detail will be, will be printed on this card. But this card would need to be programmed into the Arduino security door access so that the staff will have access to Arduino's facility. All right. And here is the MasterCard, um, which I call programmer, basically. This is what we need to add more staff ID into the system or remove if the staff services is is no longer or are no longer needed. Below is the pin configuration of the ROFID module. As you can see, the SD is going to pin 10, reset pin 9, the MOSI to pin 11, the MISO to pin 12, and the SCK to pin 13. They all stand for various, the acronym for various intelligent inputs. Further down the code, all right, that's include spi.h, wire.h, servo.h, eprom.h, pgs.h. These are libraries which I invoked. And LCD code, I, a library I never invoked, rather I wrote them here. Down the code are details that may interest you. However, the explanation of this code is beyond the scope of this exhibition. Uh, if you want more detail on this code, you can mail me and we get talking. I can possibly put you through on how to write embedded code. Alright, so let's get done with that. 
and move straight to the exhibition. It has already been established that this is my setup, but I haven't shown you my servo motor, which acts as the motor for the door opening. All right. So that's the closed position, and this is the open position. It is assumed that the door is currently closed because there have been no access. So let the staff try to assess the property. The moment I swipe in my card, the door responds. Did you hear that? Let's take that again. Now I'm going to go closer so that you will hear the sound properly. Alright, what that means is he doesn't know this car. And the red light, which indicates that access denied. This same information was displayed on the system. Now look at it. Oops, you can't go in, I'm sorry. And he said that three times. But I was able to read the card details. But he doesn't know this card, so he can't assess the property or facility. Here comes the great need for the admin to do some stuff. Alright. This is the program card. And what the system would do is it will scan this and get into a program mode. Hear what it says? Hello, master. Enter program mode. I have zero record on apron. Scan a PCC to add or remove to apron. Scan MasterCard again to exist program mode, meaning it's ready to add a card. By the time I swipe this card, if you notice the lights are dangling because it's on program mode ready to scan. The moment I swipe in my card, it reads and hear what it says. I do not know this PICC adding successfully added. ID record to EEPROM. Now, we have to leave the program mode so that we can now make an entry using the card that we just entered. To do this, we scan again with our master. And what happens? Master card scan existing program mode. What next? Do you think my card can have an access to the facility? Sure it would. And let's make it try. I swipe again. Did you hear that? That's a happy message. Congratulations, you just got in. Let's do that again. Take note of the lead. Change it to green. Access granted. One more time. open interesting while all these are happening my LCD is displaying but I haven't shown you all this why but let's take a look there is a welcome message uh oh not so clear let's try that again can you see that all right and that same information was printed on my screen. Wow, welcome, Dr. Orope. All right, let's say the staff was relieved of duty and his or her card was retrieved from him or her. What do we do? We have to disengage his information from the system. Then the program or the MasterCard comes again, go into program mode, and then see what happens. By the time I scan this same card, it's going to remove the information from the system. And here it goes. Look what it says on the screen. I 
I know this PIC. Removing, successfully remove ID record from EEPROM. Now scan a PIC to add or remove to EEPROM. Meaning that staff detail has been removed. And let's say I want to add a new staff. All I needed to because it's still on program mode, I can equally scan and get it added. But I don't want to add him anymore because I don't have the need to do that. Then I exit my program mode with this. And then let's see if he or she would have access to it again. And yet what it says, not at all. Let's try that one more time. Not at all. And this is how the system runs. Very robust. You must have heard of ROFID door access. This technology is being deployed on site. Many multinational companies use it. Shell use it. uses it. Ajib uses it. Mobi uses it. Halliburton and many multinational companies make use of this technology but the bad side is they are often imported deployed from advanced nation into nigeria but we can actually do it hence this exhibition what is obtainable out there can be obtainable in nigeria there's no difference for what they have and what we have here courtesy adios engineering limited Thank you.